Hello and welcome to the Pastor's Corner. Today we will look at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 from the Christian Standard Bible. Therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, urge you to walk worthy of the calling you've received with all humility and gentleness. In chapter 4 of Ephesians, Paul starts to discuss how followers of Christ should live. In chapter 3, Paul uses almost the same phrase that he's using in verse 1. In chapter 3, verse 1, he states, For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, on behalf of you Gentiles. Now he says, Therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, urge you to walk worthy of the calling you've received. In chapter 3, the phrase, For this reason, refers back to Paul's discussion of the unity that exists in the church. And he continues to state that he has been imprisoned because of his concern that Gentiles have an opportunity to hear the gospel. Chapter 4, verse 1, refers back to his prayer that they be filled with all the fullness of God so that they will have the power of God working in their lives. Why do they need to be filled with the, all the fullness of God and have his power flowing through their inner self? Paul states it in the last part of verse 1. I urge you to walk worthy of the calling you have received. Paul was a prisoner because he was concerned for their spiritual condition. And he shared the gospel with them so that they would be set free from their bondage to the corruption of the world they lived in. He didn't want them to take this for granted. Jesus Christ had suffered and died to set them free from their slavery to sin and Satan. Paul had suffered and was in prison so that they could hear and respond to the gospel message. They had received a calling from God as they heard the gospel message, and Paul wanted them to follow that calling and walk worthy of that calling. As Paul states in Romans 8, verses 29 and 30, for those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, so that he would be the first among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. God knew them intimately before the foundation of the world and had predestined them and called them to salvation through Jesus Christ bearing the wrath of God that they deserved. They had responded to God's calling in their life, had believed in Jesus Christ, and had been justified through Jesus' death and resurrection. And they were unified with Christ in his death and resurrection. Now that they had responded to the call, Paul wanted them to walk according to that calling, walking away from the world of sin and walking in a way that glorifies God. This was not a once and done decision. It was a belief that God would transform their life and cause them to live in a completely different way than the world around them. And this new way of life had put Paul in opposition to the world, which, which is why he was imprisoned and would probably cause his readers to also be hated by the world, leading them to possible imprisonment or death. But this was the road that they were on, and they were to live in humility and gentleness and allow their inner self to be strengthened as their outer self was wasting away. If you have heard the gospel message and responded to the calling of God by believing in Christ Jesus, you are also on this road that leads away from the world of sin and corruption, and toward eternal life. The decision you made to follow Christ was not a once and done decision. Instead, it is a belief that is transforming your life and causing you to live in a completely different way than the world around you. This is a road that will most likely lead to suffering and difficulties because your walk with Christ is in direct opposition to the way of the world around you. So therefore, I pray for you, as Paul prayed for his readers, that you would be filled with all the fullness of God and receive the spiritual power that he offers you through the Holy Spirit who lives inside of you. I urge you to use this power so that you would take your calling seriously and walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called by God with all humility and gentleness. He who called you is faithful, and he will help you persevere through whatever difficulties and problems you encounter in this world of pain and suffering. Let us pray. 
Lord God, I do pray for the people who are listening to this, who are watching this devotional, those who are your followers, Lord God, that they would be filled with all the fullness that you offer them, Lord God, and would use the power of the Holy Spirit, which is inside of them, so that they might know how to walk in this world, that they might walk towards eternal life, that they might be humble and gentle and put aside the things that are not of you, Lord God, the things that are this world and might live for you and for you alone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.